Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And today we are looking at water and more specifically polluted water and clean water. So we do have a lot of polluted water in here. And over there, we just have a bit of clean water in here and a lot of polluted water in there. Now, this will also answer one of the previous comments that we had in the past about uh, saying that it's too hard to actually clean the water. And I will tell you something, it's not that hard to do it. So what we do today is basically work on that and make sure that we have a way to do this. So maybe I will start with a pump in here. And we have some aquafillers and things like that, which would be quite nice to keep. We do have more aqu in here anyway, so I think we'll be fine. That'll be all right. I'll also add an extra tile in there and we will make things happen. So we start building building these out. Oh, we have a Draco hiding there. <laughs> We will, um, I think, yeah, it's too hot in a way, the water is, is cooler, so I'll just go with a normal pipe in here, and I want, yeah, nothing special in there, just want to go, oh, what am I doing here, to go over there, and potentially something, maybe go like this, this just because that's closer. I'll also cancel this one. And then we need just a liquid vent over there. There we go. Just so we can pump all of this out. Obviously, we need some power. And I will well, borrow some cables from you. Just go over there and connect over here. And we can pump it straight away. Oh, a new little pool fry in here. <laughs> so this is the one thing that we need to do. So we uh, get all our polluted water in the same place. I'll leave some space in here in case we may need to work this out and actually have more space for the polluted water. But for now, what I will do I'll basically build this over here. Yes, we need to open this up and have a way to, to get in there. I will also open, well, I'll open, I'll build this up. And maybe what I'll also do, we could, you know what? We could actually bring this tile over here, make sure that we connect all of this. Everything else we will dig out of there. Might need to change a few things here. I forgot that for Igneous Rock, we can't actually do all of that at the same time. This is coal. That's fine. That's fine. Everything else seems to be fine. All right. This will all happen. They are all having pleasant chit chats at the moment. Drinking water, look at Max, and throwing that away, like, there is no place to put the trash, oh, no. <laughs> but anyway, they have their priorities, oh, actually, let's give them their priorities over here, and I will do this as well as some sort of priority, just need all of this to be done. Oh, they'll work on this when they wake up. And what do we need to do here? We and how we actually clean the all the germs in the water, as you can see, 295,000 germs. <laughs> and growing. Oh man, that is quite a lot. Um we need chlorine to to clean that. So chlorine will kill the germs and that's what we will use for that hopefully that will work we'll see we'll do some testing make sure that we we are all happy with the results and then we connect everything but i might even like throw 
some water in here just to make sure that the process is actually working and yeah they have a way to go there all right that's fine i also have to open a way for them to come in here so the tile deconstructs and the tile we deconstruct so they can go inside there and, and build all of this and the area where we are cleaning that is basically we could do or here or here i feel like we may build it in here because if we need all this space for order we have it might be too much space for order to be honest but i'll be on the safe side so how do we do this and i'm thinking what is the best way for us to do that uh, do we have all the research for that that's something else that i need to do uh liquid valve i might use that we hmm i actually might do a liquid liquid lock in here i think i'll need to do that it will be able to get there i'll do one there i never remember how to do this properly and i already did that wrong <laughs> Like I have a liquid lock right here. Why don't I just look at that and make sure that it's in the right place? Not that hard. Then add this over here and we add this over there. So we have a, a lock for this area. Now, we need to look at research. We will need some things in here. Uh, the first one is a water reservoir so if we look at that's food solid materials liquids there we go where is that this one oh we do have a liquid reservoir already what i might want to do is also is that a liquid sensor that we might need i i think so if i want to do what i want to do then i'll need that i'll start researching that one that means that good so where do we go for the liquid reservoir like i'm always terrible at finding these things yes we will find out for me it should be in the plumbing uh, area, but it I it's it's not there like I can see it. <laughs> Let me find it and I'll be right back. There we go, it didn't take me like two seconds to finish that. It's in the base one. Good. Alright, so we have a liquid reservoir in here. And I will want... Oh, I may have to change that. Hold on. Cancel that one. And... Mm, I have a better idea. So, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We go back here. Add some liquid reservoirs in there. These ones I will add at the back here so we have a little bit more space and I will do a mechanized airlock in there. Now I just hope I do it in the right oh, if I can at least like rotate that properly. I'll put it the oh oh is suffocating meal no why? Uh, let's dig this with... Oh, this is all right. Not your fault this time. Let's go. You can do it, Emil. Come on. There we go. Speed things up a little bit so she can... can see this happening a little bit faster. There we go. Yay! Now you can breathe. Run, Camille, run! There we go. Good. All right. 
this will start happening. I'll just add one airlock in there. And by the way, I'll potentially open this up before maybe we do this over here at the beginning because I want this to happen a little bit faster. And what I could do as well, we start like working in this area. We know that we will block this, so why not? This is Igneous Rock. I'll cancel that. We should use Igneous Rock in here just because we have a lot more around this area. And this one we cancel. Alright. 43 degrees. You know what? That might get cancelled again. I think we go for insulated tiles in there and using Igneous Rock. We might need that. There we go. And hopefully this help us out. Now, with all these... Well, as soon as they finish all this, I might also increase the priority of that so they can finish that as well. They've done it. All the veins, everything, we just need to hook that up and we should be okay. Why, why Max is over there? Like, priority nine. Let's do this over here. You fall. No. <laughs> that wasn't exactly my intention. But you just lock yourself. Ah, uh, you, you have a way to get there. All right. Good. Oof. I well, we just have to keep an eye on this because they are doing some... Yeah, some interesting stuff over there. Let's see what we have as blueprint. We have some really nice pips in here. Start with hard digging, hard digging, and machine piloting, excavation. If some some of you had construction, I would get you, but I'll get the Ashling. Oh, which reminds me of something. Um, if we get in here and instead of doing, what are we doing here? And stone, we do. I hope I got this right. Sedimentary rock. And we do the same thing for Ashley. There we go. So sedimentary rock for both. So they can become stone hatchlings and get uh, start producing more coal. Thanks to Global Special for that tip. I really, really appreciate that. Alright, why do we have a buff prince in here? We need this. You'll be scritting slime, bleach stone. If you would like script bleach stone, that would be awesome. But I think just if you breathe chlorine. Oh, I'll, I'll leave you there. That's fine. All right, is everyone okay? I think I think so. Global special got a new point. Let's take a look if we can spend that. You get some improved carrying because you have extra strength and that'll work out for us. Oh, I knew there was someone that was lost in here. All right, bubbles. We, we need this one, this tile. Someone needs to go there and build that. Uh, Matthew, where are you going? Can you build stuff? Add to supply and construction material. Let's see. You are going there. Good. There we go. You can actually get away. All right. Nah. <laughs> All right. You can you can do whatever you want now. Go back to sleep or whatever you want to do. This needs to be built so I know where that will go. Otherwise, like that'll be really uh, interesting. We also need to mop this. We don't want this 
um, interesting water material in here. Well, now that'll be a problem because we also need to do this on this side. So what I'll potentially do is do something like this and then we can mop it up. Alright, so next part of the process, it's basically hooking this up with pipes and all that stuff, which we can actually start doing. And this time I will go with insulated pipes, just because that might be a little bit easier. So this, never remember if this gets in and this gets out or if that's the other way around. I don't believe... I think this gets in. So, if this gets in... What I'll do? I'll get this pipe there. We might need to... We go around here. And we do the same over here. Good to see that the polluted water is being sent over there already. And this one should go somewhere while they do all of this what we also need this uh in here is basically a gas pump and i think we can do it right here it doesn't need to go in the corner or anything like that this will also be water i'll prioritize this a little bit so they can bring water in here oh i can look at this now good and we can see automation. Oh, it's in the right place. Good. This is what we want to do here. And I'll explain later why we do that. But we'll do this. And then in here, we will ventilate some gas out. What I'm thinking is that we could actually just how dumb is this? Absolite, yeah. So maybe Camille should do their their thing in there. Uh, gas pipe, or maybe we just do this, just to make it easy for us. And that'll be a gas vent. We will make a vacuum in this area, so we we're safe. Basically, no gases in here other than what we already have, basically. That's all. And then we'll see how this all works. We'll definitely use this chlorine. And I may do this door over here. Let's not lose that. I think that'll be something good to have. And I might do another door in there, to be honest. But we, do we need that? Probably not. All right. So priorities. Oops. We need to finish this. All right. Those are our priorities. Get this room locked. And then we work on everything around us like this. And yeah, underneath here, we, we should be all right. We'll also need another one of those. This one, I'll do is slightly different, but we'll do this. And I need a gas filter, which will go just next there. Then a gas pipe in here. And what is filtered will go over there, what is not? Uh, be a little bit smarter with this, but I'm I'm not that smart. But <laughs> I just put this like away a little bit and see if that's enough. We don't need an absurd amount of chlorine in there, but I'll I'd love to to have that. So we have that now. We need to start hooking up all the our connections in here. I might 
do this. Um, in here, I won't connect them yet. Although, hold on. I think we have wires underneath and I can just run that under there. Yeah, this is connecting everything else. I will bring it all the way over here and stop there. This is all connected. Oh, I didn't want to connect the power there. I'll go around. We don't need these mechanized airlocks connected because we don't want them uh, working that way anyway. And for this one, I want to hide this cable. We could go just there, but yeah, I'm... You know me. I have to do things in a, in a specific way to make me happy. <laughs> we have a colony achievement. Let's take a look at what that is. End of century. Reach cycle 100 with at least one living duplicant. We have eight living duplicants. And food, by the way. Food situation is currently all right. Stress is actually going up so we we should be careful with that because they are working quite a lot they well this area is not like great for your health to be honest <laughs> i might do uh just for now we could do something like this i guess yeah i think i'll do that just to help them with their health. And then we just connect this. And oh, I lost the the bridge there. Oh, yeah. Cancel this, please. We can't build that there, but we can. Yeah, I think that was my my bad. Then we build this here. And then we go for wires and we connect all of this. And this one, I feel like I'll connect over there. And maybe we prioritize that because, well, this one should be, should have like higher priority. And we prioritize this. Potentially these as well. They are hooking these up and making myself happy over there. I think this is the sandstone. All right, no, this the tile is sandstone. We should be building with uh, absolite. I don't know why I'm using sandstone in here. Why am I using? Yeah, igneous rock, not absolite. My bad. All right, they, they're still building. So what I'll do, I'll wait and build this up and then I'll be back with you when that's completed. And just while we do that, there are two really interesting dupes that uh, came into play here. Actually, three. I was looking this side and didn't look at that one. We have plus three construction in there, plus three excavation and a tier two, two super hard Digging and germ resistant. This one, nine strength with increased excavation, which will allow us like to, to construct as well. But this one is probably the best one we could have. And plus seven strength with uh, hard digging as well. And oh, I'm just so, so torn apart, like with which one I, I should go. This one has plus excavation and construct plus three excavation and construction which gives us 75 percent digging speed which this one also gives us except for the construction bonus but you know what i think turner you are joining our base welcome and before i go back into doing whatever i was doing uh, do we have enough? Three, six, eight. One of them. Oh, we need a, a new bed, don't we? We could have it in there. And by the way, we should have this here as well. So we let the carbon dioxide uh, get out of there. Otherwise, this would be interesting. But yeah, another table, another uh, mess table in there. We should also set some priorities, which to be honest, 
it's been a while. <laughs> so I want you to actually, let's get you some skills first. And skills and Turner, you will do, not that you love like hiding things up, but I think I want you to go with hard digging and then we'll do construction and then we'll look into everything else but skills priorities there we go i want you to do oh, what is that building you know what i might leave it is for a second in here i might get this one up and wait until we get the next skill and we also have a, another achievement in there Catch a new critter morph on an egg. I just would love to see where that is. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe it's... Oh, is that this? Tropical fry? Yes, nice. Love it. So we are almost done with this. Uh, we still... Oh, what are you doing there, Draco? I might actually... Get you over here. And the reasons why I think you can help getting that growing. Um, pinch up our plants, bone lily, and millwood plants. And that's millwood. So that means that we can actually get you over there. So wrangle and they can eat and help this growing faster. And I'll also make this like a high priority job while we finish this i'm having to open this up a little bit as well uh i don't know if you noticed that or not mostly because we do need more uh to get the carbon dioxide under and open the area here for more uh ventilation really as you can see we have over pressure which is over a thousand um, polluted oxygen in there. So we need to get that moving and hopefully these will help. We could send these, yeah, everywhere in here would be a tough job to do that. Maybe we could, I, I don't know. We will wait and see what we can do in there. We are removing the gases from here. So hopefully we'll see less and less as you can see this is a, a lighter color which means that we have less in there so we'll wait for that to happen and see what we can get but i'll be right back with you when we actually finalize that hey let's see how this goes it's the moment of truth uh by the way i put this gas reservoir in here just to i had a bleach stone in here i couldn't see it bleach stone will release chlorine and I was trying to pump everything out of there and then it was keeping pumping chlorine in here and it was never emptying so what I've done all the chlorine I pumped in there everything else I pumped out removed that bleach stone the bleach stone is in here at the moment and if we need that we we can use that is a finite resource so that's why I'm doing good use of that that is a lot of people idle as well so let's put that to work there is a lot for them to collect over here so please go and do it let's clean things up like there is a lot in the in the base here that we could uh make ourselves useful really there we go look at that how much stuff and i put a massage table here that people who special is using quite a lot so feeling quite good doing that so yeah we've now fill this up with uh, chlorine. We have 2,000 uh, grams or two kilos per uh, square in here. It's a lot more than what we need, but you know what? We had all this chlorine laying around here, so I'll just pump everything in there as well. And we have our liquid lock, so nothing gets out, nothing gets in. And we'll see how this goes. So let's hook this up. I will connect this in here. So what we're doing, we are pumping this from there and making these all go in here. And if we look at the contents, the reason why we have this in here is that 
this shouldn't and let me show you the plumbing overlay it shouldn't close this until we have at least 20 in there and we with that we will keep the contents uh, of the don't let me open this of the reservoir in there until it reaches that threshold when that does this closes it out and then it starts pumping out the liquids until the next one and the same thing will happen for each of those until it starts dropping it in there at the moment i have it in there but i'll probably just remove this and let the, the liquid run into the tank so if you look at the reservoir at the moment we have 53,000 germs in there coming in um the water well the water will be keep pumping and all germy water will get in here so the idea is that with all these coming in there takes it it's time and it will reduce or remove all the germs from there when this goes into the next one hopefully we will see a lot less uh, obviously the water that we are sending in here is basically like 500,000 germs wow <laughs> wow and the insulated pipe can we see what we have in there in terms of germs i don't think we can but yeah in here is what matters it's already at uh 58 to 55,000 germs that's normal there's a lot of germs getting here that's why i have four usually three will be enough but with the amount of germs that we currently have i think that makes a lot of sense and if we need as you can see we can expand this so i just made sure that i i had enough in there for um whatever we need so this will start filling out we'll wait a little bit and take a look at that a little bit later and just make sure that everything is going uh, out as well so one other thing that i might want to do in here is to just pump this uh, when we have a specific amount of um liquid in here and let's say maybe we go in there and then we do an automation wire in there and i think we need some electrical cables oh we don't all right that'll be easy then so that means that if liquid is on top of here we will pump it out if it's not then we will uh, we stop pumping the water because we don't really need it's just a way for us to keep this area um free really i mean thanks so yes that's correct um what i want is yeah i did the wrong one uh, it should be a hydro sensor to detect liquids not the um liquid pipe element sensor like this is not a pipe so we yeah that was my bad so i will deconstruct that and um they will have like show to sleep they have it woken up and someone is coming here we also need to deconstruct that forgot about that like we don't really need that uh that in there so we go into automation hydro sensor we get that back in there connect those and why is this not pumping did i remove something that i shouldn't oh it's sending a red signal because it's above there we go <laughs> if i do things right they work right uh in terms of germs well no more germs we didn't have any germs in here for a second so this is definitely working i just want to see this going to the next one because that'll be awesome and i'll deconstruct this one please because i know that we won't need that anymore i'm pretty sure about that i just want really want to see it starting to get into the next one you see the uh airlock here closing and hopefully we will get that so yeah, we have to get to 50,000 in there. 
or about 50%, 50%, which is the high threshold. I could just reduce it, uh, but we are getting there. And what we will start doing as well is, well, we have the overflow for the toilets in here. We might need to pump all these uh, dirty water from here. Or Aku won't really like that, but we will do that regardless. Sorry, dear Paku. I think we could... Oh, we could just connect it over here, I guess. There you go. And that will go all there. So don't need to do much for that to happen. And in terms of wires, we just connect there and we should be all right. And what we have in here... Oh, we have these actually... What I'll do, I'll remove this storage bin because we are pumping the all the liquid out of here. And I think I'll remove everything from there. And what I'll do, I will do a sweepy in here so they can put that up to other place. So this will keep things moving. Um, on this one, we are almost just needs a thousand more kilograms of liquid. And then we will be all right. There we go. They just closed the airlock and we are now pumping liquid into here. We are now with 500 germs in this one from the 500,000 to 50,000. Yeah, almost 60 in here. Just 800 germs, let's say a thousand. This one will be probably clean and we don't even need that one. So we are all good to drop water in here. That is fantastic news. Alright, that is exactly what I wanted from this place. We are... Oh, actually, help this out. I want to keep cleaning the uh, polluted oxygen from here. So I might just do this instead so the polluted oxygen goes down. A little bit and we can move that around i would do it in here as well and we have like those uh deodorizers in here that will do the job a lot of oxygen in there like just love that what i might do just for the sake of well getting things really really nice in here i'll deconstruct some of those maybe i'll do this really and let them do their thing um and then i will build a deodorizer on top of there so we can clean this up a little bit further and we then remove all the polluted oxygen from there and that'll be all that we need to do there are a little bit of chlorine in here still that's fine we will deal with that in uh, due time. For now, I think we are pretty safe on what we have in here. And I'll potentially just open all this area in here as well. Just so we have more space. So, still filling up. Yeah, still 800 germs. That's the goal. When we get to the next one, no more germs in there and we'll be all right. And hopefully this is now pumping the... It is... Oh, this is really high priority in there. <laughs> Just sweep that slime, please. We don't really want that in there. Not at all. And then happy days, I would say. So bring this down a little bit further. So we open this and get like air flowing through these areas. Have a bit of carbon dioxide that we can use for rockets later on and yeah i think i'll wait for this one to fill up and i'll come back just so you see what happens next and there we go another one is just closed and now we have the third one with no germs at all <laughs> that's fantastic so again 
from 600,000 to 70,000, almost 900 to 1,000 to zero. And then we'll go through the next step. And then from here, we will drop the water in the tank in there. And now we have clean water, no germs, nothing wrong with that. And we have also a, um, an area here that we can control. If we want this a little bit lower, we can do that. Depending on how that goes, we might do that as well. I've also just changed this uh, to here. There we go. That's all right. Yeah. And then I removed that from there because I wanted to put another one in there. And I built the one at the top, so we'll deal with the situation. I don't know why I removed the one in here. I think I did my mistake. But this will clean this up as well. We'll start eliminating all the germs in this area, which are almost gone in here, as you can see. Zero germs, just one or zero, but we still have quite a lot in there. So we'll definitely need to work it out. I'll also make sure that we are uh, refilling this quite fast, because this area will need that. And we should be good. But yeah, there we go. This is how you actually clear all your water. By the way, I'm using two of those water sieves because one outputs half of what we can have in the pipe. So having both in here, uh, make sure that the pipes are always full and this is uh, working faster as well. The out sweeper gets the sand and put them into those water sieves so this is all automated except bringing the sand over here of course at least at the moment um and then again the hydro sensor sends a green signal while we have water on it and it keeps pumping the water into here out of the last reservoir so this should do us for today i hope you've enjoyed this little system here to clean all the water and make all those jeremy polluted water into clean water for us we might also do remove these uh, water sieve from here which to be honest i think i'll do i'll remove this water sieve and connect everything to the pipes i would potentially just wait this all to fill up and make sure that we have enough uh, otherwise we won't have water for the toilets in there but for now there we all so leave me more messages, leave me more comments. I'm loving to see all your suggestions, all your ideas, and to show you some of my ideas as well, because I think this is quite cool. Doesn't use a lot of um, energy and does the job like really, really well. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.